Hello, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here. Boy, I just got done watching some different um, YouTubers. Man, it makes me feel... Hmm, am I doing a good enough job? I don't know. Just They seem to do so much better than I do. Um, presenting games and talking about things. Just a little, you know. Uh, oh, I don't know. Not feeling so self-assured about some of this, but um, that's neither here nor there. Now, doing really well, getting a lot of views, at least, and um, no major flames. Um, comments, yes, and I love comments on videos, but no major flames of it is mm, my talking about um, the kerfuffle over um, the release of Imperator Rome, and I've since... And I didn't, I intentionally didn't um, go watch other people's opinions. I did, of course, read the um, comments in the, you know, um, Steam page, but, and, and re reacting to that. And I have to say, I agree with some of their points that some of these people are making. And so they're not wrong in that. What... I find, and as several people have brought up, is Paradox has played this game for you a bunch of times, um, you know, uh, live streamed it, and you, and they post it over on YouTube, and you could watch it there. Um, other YouTubers, including like myself, have um, played the game for you. And so you should have a good expectation of what um, can be done, can't be done to make a good and informed decision on the game. And I'm not saying you've got to love the game or, or you're, you're wrong or anything like that. It's just the, I don't know, vitriol or upset. And boy, man, like I, I keep talking about the good old days. Well, I'm actually talking about the bad old days right now. In that you couldn't necessarily see a game played before you bought it, before, really before YouTube in, in, a, in a large sort of way. So yeah, um, then, oh man, you know, totally get why people would be upset with things. Now one thing I haven't been doing, um, quite honestly, is been with the national ideas because or, um, I just sort of kind of forgot, quite honestly, until I think it was Steve, sorry if I'm forgetting who, um, poked me to remind me about this. Um, there's been a lot going on with me recently, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, so a couple of things. Well, one one thing other than um, just which ones of these to pick is that if you pick this suggestion for um, an aristocratic monarchy, I don't know what they are for others. I haven't played a bunch of the different other governments but if you pick one military and two oratory ideas you get this sort of national bonus not exactly sure why they think these are specifically what is in line with whether it's aristocratic monarchy or Ptolemaic Egypt I think it's just aristocratic monarchy but um, not sure but now we can look. Do we want um, negative ten? Because you don't you you don't want to build up tyranny. Well, so far in my play style, I've not really built up any tyranny. It it, it periodically spikes up a little bit, but then goes back down. Uh, cit uh, national citizens' happiness plus ten percent. That's good. Um, uh, do we have national happiness somewhere easy to see that and some of the people have mentioned the UI well yeah the UI could use some work um, but I don't think we're having a lot of you know because um, I do know we can come down here and see um, you know unrest levels I do do know that and you can see um, tolerance policy and uh, corruption levels and whatnot that tribute to that but I don't know for you know overall um, now what to me is a little bit um, useful here is the two 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 and two for the 
different um, I don't know if I'm going to say the word. I think it's a little too... And this is what they... Well, okay, we will say the word mana. I'm glad mana really isn't... Well, it is in, in a way, I guess. A little bit in Hearts of Iron 4. Um, how do I put this? The reason they have some of this mana element is, say, every time you change a law, or enact, you know, uh, or change a governor, or w whatever, it causes a disruption. And so, if you're constantly doing in real life, you know, what, whenever anything changes, anything in real life changes. You move a manager. Um, from one store to another store or from one department to another department in government or something like that um, it's going to cause some disruption now maybe a good change but it's still going to cause disruption so you don't want to do it every other day and I totally get that but um, it's also a crutch that Paradox, I think, overly uses. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so we can look at the ideas here. The colored ones are the ones we currently have access to. We need um, some of uh, these to be higher levels to access other um, ideas further down the tree, if you will, or whatever. Um, So, standardizing construction to me looks like um, a really great idea. Thirty uh, build cost and build time down by thirty percent. Um, complex tariffs. Um, sure, that isn't bad. And national slave output, you know, obviously, yeah, that's okay. Uh, military ethos, morale of armies, trireme costs, and reinforcement speeds. Okay, oratory ideas. Monthly corruption down, that's nice, keeps, um, yeah, the corruption level. Gotta click over. Um, what? I don't know. And no, I'm not the best expert on all of the UI. Um, general loyalty, that's good. And um, hospentum, you know, um, improved opinion maximum. So they can like us at a higher level. Religious ideas, you know, monthly civilization change. Um, loyalty of subjects and origin myth. Um, that goes back to, you know, like... Romulus and Remus, founding of Rome. Um, well, not that we can't use, but we don't need any more um, religious power. Oratory power, we have a big reserve of right now. We don't need that. I've been blowing through the civic power, uh, getting um, various inventions. And military power um, would be the most useful to get through here. But since I'm not, and you know, this is a, a regular play episode, I just talked about other things at the start. Um, I'm not planning on going to war right now. Um, some players, including I think Paradox people, is is they. They're min-maxers, and they're like, you know, how to conquer, how to conquer, how to conquer. Though I did have somebody tell me that maybe my slow and steady was um, a better choice because they ran out of, I think it was manpower and whatever, but that's part of the thing. We don't have manpower. So, um, uh, morale of arm. So I'm not going to 
strive for this because the only two that really like ooh would be good would be civic and military and that's good um because i don't need lower monthly tyranny and i think i have reasonable national happiness so i don't need that um what i can do or what i would love to do is have cheaper buildings and quicker build times so we're going to do that and um national commerce income and since and now this is I'm thinking. I haven't gone silenced on you. Um, on the criticisms, and some of them are... Well, what really sort of, quite honestly, upset me... And I don't mean too too bad, but just going like, hey, this is, just isn't. All of the comments on Steam that, that just really were hyperbolic. Not that, oh, hey, hard to find something in the UI, like I'm like having here. Yeah, I mean, you, you can... Those are very valid things, so I'm not against you know saying oh that this game is perfect i don't think i've ever said it i think it's it's you know a really great foundation they just need to get their act together and invest more money into this now that's through their um country civilization oh so what i was going to say is um instead of having yes or no on all of this they ought to have a degree thing. That's one thing that one thing that Paradox doesn't seem to get. Or at least the current design team. And you know, I've watched I, I feel like I you know, cause I've interacted with them some of them a little bit. And Johan um is the main developer for this game. He was also sort of the overseer for Hearts of Iron 4 until he turned it over to Dan. So I don't know how much is Dan's idea versus Johan's idea that Dan has now inherited. Um, but I'm a gradualist on these kinds of things. Um, you know, like the, the Sarissa. Well, the Sarissa was... Um, and this is another objection that I have with Paradox's design philosophy, not this game. It includes this game, but not um, just this game. Is that, well, wait a minute, I've read a history book, or I've watched the, in some ways, God Awful, um, uh, Oliver Stone movie about Alexander the Great. Alexander Stroops had Sarissa's. Why wouldn't my Greek soldiers have Sarissas at start? This sort of, we start with a blank slate and, and work down it. That, to me, is is a bad thing. And um, now you could have um, something that... Uh, okay. Um, it's something that makes, you know, um, improvements to something that's already there, shall we say. And, and that's partially coming from Hearts of Iron um, and the, um, I think, really good idea of their various... Um, tactical capabilities instead of do you have blitzkrieg or you don't have blitzkrieg oh yeah blitzkrieg level one blitzkrieg level two blitzkrieg level three and however many graduations you want to have it you know one through three or one through ten or whatever it is to just sort of show that hey well we sort of kind of know what we're doing here to hey this is towards the end of the war we've got this down you know and and do it really well it's the same tactic but we do you know we do it really well um, so I'm a gradualist on that. Um, so I don't the one thing. Well, loyalty, monthly corruption, uh, low cost. Uh, I'm just not seeing those as being. Don't know that I want to do tax farming, national slave output. We're doing. We're going to be doing a lot more. 
um, because I also was informed on, um, you know, going over to free trade. So that will, um, a lot more trading element. So I think we're going to go with national commerce income plus 20%. Country civilization level plus 10% eventually. I think we're going to go for this um, state religion for improving civilization. Okay, and so again, back to what they're calling power here um, and mana and whatnot. I think, like I say, any change is a disruption in society, and so I don't think you should do it like, oh, well, jump back and forth. But when we're getting ready to go to war, yeah, and we should hopefully have enough um, oratory power to make the changes. And we might not bother with it if we're going to war with a minor power that doesn't have a, um, you know, major allies. Or any allies. And no, I'm not going to speed this up because even though it might sort of get through the game a little bit faster, then this thing seems to surprise me a little more. And I want to keep the flow going, but I also don't want to totally do this. Okay, Ptolemy Fair oh, falls ill. Okay, infection. Okay. Um, let me pause this because I want to see. He's now 92 years old. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to try to cure him um, in any means because he, he's, he's about done. I just remembered in the last playthrough I did several miraculous removes. So I don't know if that if this Ptolemy really looks like Ptolemy or if they really tried to make him look like Ptolemy. Because we have, a, we have um, I would say, an, an idealized um, Greek statue that is purportedly Ptolemy. It very well may be. I'm not. Um, some identifications of statues have been questioned and maybe not um, very well confirmed um, over the years. And um, we have coins, most assuredly in the coins he looks really ugly, but it's sort of profile and it's stamped in a, in a coin. So I, you know, I'm not saying it's incorrect, I just think it's, it's trying to make a, um, you know, a 2D picture there with limited capabilities. Okay, I think we're going to move these guys up to here. Oh, and I want to check here. Um, and I may get rid of that unnoticeable. I don't know why they why they called him unnoticeable or thought him unnoticeable. Let's get it with another um, no, not an 11 power. Nice, but I'm carrying national freedom output. Effective ruler of commander loyalty chance gain. Okay, we're going to put you in charge of the navy. You're loyal. And that's good. Um... Places to add 
trade. Oh, I also I wanted to look at um, infection, tactically inflexible, good natured, lustful. Okay, devout, and we'll seek treatment. I like the idea of seeking treatment. Um, humble, self-controlled, lunatic. I'm going to get rid of that lunatic, so you get to watch me go. Um, save game. I just want to add a, a little bit there. No, you don't get to see this part, but you can hear me talk while I do it. I'm going to come over here. Um, I'm, I don't know what they're thinking it means in lunatic, you know, um, I see a lot of um, people denying reality today. There was actually some statement by some group that it's really hard to determine um, uh, male and female. And so, um, uh, oh, I need to find her name. Um, Number uh, Philoretta. Hopefully, I can remember how to spell that easily enough. I think it's actually quite um, quite easily um, to determine male and female for at least 99.99% um, .99 of uh, humans you look at their genitalia um, to determine their their gender um, I'm not saying they can't behave in different manners I'm just talking about biologically and so people are lunatic. And if that's all they mean of lunacy, um, and now yeah, I do know people that get physical surgery. That's a little harder to. That's why I say, not everybody. And there are abnormal. They're not normal. Because uh, normal, it's male or female. Um, Eritrea folded. Okay, over province. Um, You know, there's normalcy and non-normalcy, and abnormal um, births. So yeah, uh, most everyone, it's it's very easy to determine your your gender. And so, um, probably I'm going to get banned from YouTube now. But um, I, I do believe. Okay, so yes, the kings that once served Alexander have started to pass away, and with them. So does the immediate claim to his empire. The men who have become known as the successors, the Diadochi, um, are now themselves being succeeded by their progeny, the Epigoni. While powerful leaders in their own right with strong claims to realms of their fathers, these Epigoni are um, regional dynasts and cannot restore the empire. Now, as lost. Um, I disagree with this. Um, and I think if you've watched my earlier why I disagree on the Ptolemaic front, um, because they had you know, Alexander's body and Ptolemy may or may not have been a half-brother to Alexander the Great. I don't know. I believe he was. I don't know that he was, obviously. We don't even know for sure who Alexander the Great's father is without doing, you know, genetic testing. Um, and they could have swapped the babies at birth and so it may have not even been 
Um, the mother that saw, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, we can always go down, you know, what if roads and that kind of thing. But um, short of that, um, you know, we don't know, um, but we, I think, I believe, I think there are, I don't know that the Seleucids don't know the Antigonids, but there were, um, and just depends on if they survive, um, other um, claimants, you know. Uh, so, uh, you know, from his um, brothers, uh, half his brothers' uh, descendants. Okay. Um, I'm just, okay, now another lunatic. Why is she an effing lunatic? Okay, tactically inflexible, whatever. Um, not that Berenice can't be leading armies. Um, uh, I'm, so I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I just... To me, lunatic is... Um, is just something that... I will grant you happened. Oh, I gotta finally get her. Um, uh, I want to get her spelling. As you can tell, I'm. I, mean, I need to be precise, and I don't want to. There we go. Technically, lustful, crafty. Um, oh, no. Oh. I pull up the, old, the other safe. Okay. Um, that may not be her. That's a different Berenice. There's a lot of them here. Let me start up here at the top again. Um, not that one. a lunatic one so I'm gonna tactically inflexible lunatic yes there we go so we're deleting lunatic and I would like your input I mean you can input and say hey gamer you're cheating and you can do this too you know just by going getting a text editor and going in and and doing what I'm doing um, Right, the, the different versions. Yes, unnoticeable, and she is still just tactically inflexible. And I am not trying to make these super people by by editing them. I just because I. Uh, <sighs> 
to me, lunatic is someone who um, really is not in touch with reality. And so, and I, I would say at least of the Roman emperors, um, Caligula is the only one that I know is specifically that way. Um, so, and there were a bunch of them. So yeah, it should be in the game. I just reserve the right to have it very few and limited occasions. Okay, they could use a trade route. Grain is a possi is a good possibility because they don't have that, but they do have lots of livestock and fish, and I'm happy to trade away some of that. Um, yeah, we're gonna do trade um, grain. Um, Let's get it from the Seleucids. Uh, Hellenic ah, Hellenic blah 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 blah. Hellenistic city-state of Miletos. Um, base metals from Cyprus, yes. Cyprus, I actually, if, I, if you didn't hear me say it, I think I did, um, comes from, um, I think, a Greek word for copper. So that's the sort of base metal they were, particularly copper there. Correct me if I'm wrong on any of these, like, historical tidbit thingies. Because um, I do want this to be educational. And, um, let's look here. Yeah, they got fish and livestock, but they also don't have grain. And yes, we could get it from our own internally, but I'm sort of kind of hopefully building good relations, hopefully building them up. Um, I know they are a rival of ours, and... In the long run, if this game goes that long, there could be an update date that makes this, you know, good enough update that makes the, this playthrough, um, you know, incompatible or something. I don't know. Or, of course, we could crash and burn and um, have Carthage or Rome eat us up. That could happen, too. Um, so, um, we're going to go to war with them eventually, but I think them being strong for now helps us with the Antigonids. Okay, um, yes, infection trait gone, good. And I think we could use a warning for when particularly family members, spouses, siblings get a um, curable um, medical state that's a negative thing. No, good, okay, they're taking on the pirates. Oh, the pirates are taking on... Oh, I'm not... Pa I'm still paused. I didn't think I was. 
I'm still been thinking about both from watching and making my video and what I was saying fairness at some of their problems I'm relatively good um, with the idea uh, of criticism of this game uh, because there's things you know obviously I'm criticizing it but that doesn't does that make it a bad game are games ever complete see see this is you know I don't you know and I'm, I'm still just thinking about this and it's now been a couple of days you know do you you know, we need to release a game feature complete, and if so, how long does that take? And what's the cost, number of people and stuff? I don't know. Okay, um, give them a job, which is a bad idea. We can persuade him to give up. And we'll do that. I just see the potential here, I guess. And if you don't want to come along for the ride, wait. Okay, a um, couple of things here. So, pause. Um, so advance, yes, let's see. Um, Melantis requesting, no, we're going to decline the offer. Now, um, we're going to religion gonna cost us 264 to do a sacrifice which will get us back up there I think um, and now it's 364 so it goes up I think it's that it happened so soon um, but I don't know for the or is it just level I think two is good there are definitely events and things that will increase the overall stability and that is a good idea to get to three, but two, I think, you know, sort of pushing it is a good furtherness that you need to do. Um, because do you want more, you know, religious power decisions to, you know, to make that kind of stuff? Well, we're going to end this episode here. I want to thank you for watching. Thanks for liking the videos, if you would. And if you say n you want to dislike it, okay, but please just tell me why. Is it my bad speaking, or is it the game? Is it something I've said, you know, particularly, uh, or whatever? Let me know. I'll, I'll take the criticism. It's probably valid. Um, and, of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I really love hearing from you, so just post a comment, say hi, whatever. Thanks so much. See you next time for more historical games.